This is international master Eric Kislik, and I'm going to be looking at this study by Novikov, which a number of people told me in a group that this is an unsolvable study, that they t checked it with Stockfish, they checked it with Komodo, they checked it with Houdini, it wasn't able to find the win. I just downloaded the latest version of Stockfish, so I'm really curious how it's going to go. I hope I'm not proven wrong, but uh, let's see. So I'm going to turn it on now, and let's see how it does. So let's see one second. I'm just going to set it to nine CPUs and let it run, and let's see how it does here. So this is a very interesting study, and I don't want to reveal it yet. Wow, this is fast. Eight seconds, and it's saying rook h7 check plus minus, and they were saying this was this was unsolvable. Are you kidding me? Is it really this this good now? So all these studies that everybody said, oh, it'll never be solved. Stockfish just solves it in eight seconds or ten seconds. This is just getting kind of ridiculous. So it's saying rook h7 check, and you might be wondering, well, what's the point of that? It wants to play rook h7 check, king takes h7, bishop e4 check, and the plan to win is that you can't stop black from playing a1 queen check, but white's going to go king c1 and bishop to b1, and then lock the queen in the corner so it can't move. I guess it may take a little while to show the line. I guess it's going to show a forced mate of some type. So I'm just going to let it finish here and give a clear line because as you can see here, it's not really stable. So it's saying plus minus plus 132.63, whatever that means. But I'm sure it's going to show a mate very soon. I, I would have never imagined it would be this fast, but that just shows you why you should download the latest version of Stockfish. Uh, it's free and they update it regularly, so I'll be linking to the site where you can download it from, but I must say I'm pretty shocked by how quick this was. Pretty sure I checked this with an older engine, maybe five years ago or something, and it was not even close to solving it. So this is pretty nice to see. So let's see it here. I'll give it, I don't know, how much time should I give it here? Maybe 45 seconds to see if it will show me a forced mate, like a mate in 60 or a mate in 45, or I don't know what it's going to say here. But, ah, nice, nice. That was fast. Okay, so it's giving us, it's saying mate in 31. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, let's look at the line. So rook h7 check, king g8. Okay, now it's saying mate in 27, all right. Bishop d5 check, king takes. Bishop e4 check. I don't know, it was saying king g8 before. Okay, let's say I just give this line. Okay, so king c1, and now it queens. And I just go bishop to b1. So the point is that the pawns are too far apart for the king to actually stop both. And white played the only idea because black was going to queen by just being able to block with the bishop. So black goes king f8, white goes c5. Uh, let's say king e8, f5, king f7, c6, king e7, f6 check, and the pawns are too far apart. So I'll just play the mate in 17 line out here, but <laughs> I'm pretty surprised that it was actually this fast because it basically means that almost any super complicated position it's going to solve really, really quickly. Here it's just trying to cut off the king. And what sometimes is even the case is that if you show multiple lines, I only showed one line here, sometimes when you show multiple lines, it mates even more quickly. So anyway, I'm just gonna play out the line that it's giving here. It's just basically cutting off the king and just it just keeps pushing it one square further. So king g8, queen e7, and now uh, the king can't go to h8 because of queen h7 mate, and so he has to give up the queen. <laughs> okay, <laughs> takes, takes, king h8. And then we just push our pawn up the board and then we checkmate in the corner. So, wow, I must say I'm really impressed by how fast this was. And just in the interest of clarity, I'm not somebody who only uses Stockfish either. I use Komodo, I use um, Houdini 6. I'm, I'm open to using every single program. You know, some of the other programs are better in other certain areas. For example, Komodo is very good with peace and balances, like with, uh, let's say two bishops and two pawns versus a queen. Komodo is very good in that case. And uh, Houdini is very good at finding direct wins and things like that. But this was really, really fast. I mean, this, 
This is a study that has been really, really hard for a long time. I mean, engines weren't even close to solving it before, so I'm amazed that it's just ultra fast now. So engines definitely deserve a lot of credit for that, but wow. So if, if anybody has any impossible studies they want me to look at, I'll be happy to uh, run them with Stockfish and show you the video of it. And if you enjoyed the content, then consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thanks a lot.